so hello everyone welcome to another video today we are going to create as you already saw we are going to create a sq effect whenever you will scroll the web page so it's really interesting and let's actually see here as you can see that here is our items and we have some items here and if you notice that whenever we will scroll we are having this sq effect with a little bit of a rotate effect so if you scroll something like that now you can see that in here you are having a skew effect with also a rotating effect so it's looking really nice as you can see that you already might saw it in many website and in this video you are going to learn how you can do it with some javascript so before we start the video i want to mention that if you want to follow us on our instagram you can do that the handle is instagram.com slash web underscore cipher so if you follow us you will get some interesting tips and tricks about web design and development maybe that will be helpful for you and also if you face any kind of problem with this tutorial you can join our community group the link will be in the description we have a great number of community member and which is growing day by day so join the group the link will be description all the link will be in the description so with that saying let's roll the intro <music> And here you can see that I have this HTML and CSS file. So let's create the layout first and let's get the boilerplate here. And so inside the body, we'll have a section. And inside that, I will have a div with a class of container. And here inside this container, I will have a div and we will have our first item. And we will have this item class, also item one class. So this will be the first item. So we will create some uh, items and we will achieve this SQ effect with this item. And here we will have some basic text here. So this is a title. So let me actually copy this text here. Uh, this is a paragraph text, which will be here. So we have this and if I refresh, I can see my heading and also my title so let's also create the second one so we can actually duplicate this and so this will be the second one just change the class name if i save so it's working perfectly and we can keep it something like three or four times so this will be the third one and we'll have some empty div with the emoji so something like that and here you can see that we have some uh, empty divs with them uh, you can see that with the emoji so we will have this layout and let's style this and before that let's actually link this here and in our style.css first of all let's say that we want to remove or reset the padding and margin and margin zero and also the box sizing will be the border box so after that uh, you could as you can see that we don't have any kind of extra gap or extra padding and margin anymore and after that let's say that the body in the body will have a background color so it will be the rgv color so rgv uh, 26 26 and 26 and here is our background color so you can see that the background is dark and we want to have a color of white so it's looking perfect now and here what we can do now uh, i can just can say that in our container uh, the width will be something like 80 percent and max width will be 1200 pixel and we will keep it center with the margin auto now you can see that it's looking something like that and for each of our item we will have some basic style so height will be something like 400 pixel and width will be something like 100 percent and here uh, i will just say that text transform will be the uppercase and after that uh, the font size will be something like uh, 30 pixel and also i want to change the color so the color actually don't want need to change the color it is looking good right now if I save now you can see that the color is good we don't need to change it 
and for the background color uh, we need to give it a rgb color and here i will just say the 32 34 and 35 so this will be the background color as you can see so this is slightly a light color and also we want to have a margin here so for the margin we will have 50 pixel top and bottom and zero pixel for the left and right so now you can see that they are separated from each other and after that uh, we want to have some padding so that we can have some space inside that so 20 pixel will be enough yeah looking good and also let's say that i want to have it uh, this emoji so here you can see that i want to have it in the center so display flex and uh, align items will be center and justify content will be center and i have this typo here and if i save now everything should be center but uh, we need to make the flex direction column that's it and if you want you can uh, have the text element in the left side so you can see that now the text is in the left side and also what you can do in the align items you can say that flex start so that everything will be in the left side aligned here so you can see that this is also left side aligned but here what you can do uh, for our this emoji you can actually grab this with the S Pen because if you can see here we have this emoji inside this S Pen and here I just can say that display will be uh, block and align items sorry not align items text align center and also let's say that the width will be 100% yeah perfect now everything is now center as you can see so now what i need actually i need to have the effect the skew effect whenever we will scroll the page so for that let's create a js file here so main.js or whatever you can name it and link it with your html so here script source and main.js so we linked it so now what i need to do first of all i need to grab the section so here you can see that all these items you can see inside that we are having all this item inside this section here as you can see so we need to grab this parent so here in our javascript so let's grab it so content equals to and document dot query selector and here we will just select the section i don't have enough content so that we can just select it with the tag so here first of all we need to get the page y offset means how much we already scrolled so let's get that and let's say that uh, we will say that let current position equals to and window dot page y offset so now we are getting the page y offset inside this so we have a typo here so we are getting the page y offset inside this variable so whenever we will scroll we will have our value inside this so perfect and after that i need to create a function which we will name skew effect and now in our function first of all i need to get the new position means let me actually explain so whenever these main.js will be executed so first of all we will get the page x offset and after that whenever we will scroll we need to get our new page y offset so i made this typo here this should be the y because we are scrolling in the y axis so let me explain you once more so whenever this main.js will be run and first of all it will capture or it will get the window page y offset and after that whenever we will scroll we need to get our new page y offset so for that we just can say the constant new position equals to window dot page y offset so now we are getting the new position so now constant difference so we need to make sure that how much we already scored so it is very simple we need to just uh, we need to subtract the new position uh, sorry from the new position 
the current position so we are subtracting the uh, current position from the new position so we are getting the difference means how much we already scrolled here and with this difference we will apply a skew effect inside this section so here say that let skew equals to difference multiply by 0 0.8 so you can actually uh, play with this number and get your own uh, skew effect so i'm just uh, testing it with the lower number or probably you should use something like lower number because if you use higher number here it will be over skew it will have a over skew effect which will not good so just uh, figure it out which one will work something like 0 0.7 0 0.5 something like that and after that let's say that let rotate so with this sq effect we will also have some slightly rotate effect so difference multiply 0.2 so this one will be very very little so that we will not have something like crazy rotate so we will have a slightly rotate so that's why we need to multiply with 0.2 and after that uh, we need to apply it in our section so this one with this section so for that i just can say that constant not constant sorry content dot style dot transform and here i need to say that skew y and here we will have our skew value so this one will be dynamic so we need to create a dollar sign and curly brackets and now inside that we can write our dynamic javascript so this one will be this sq value that we have here and also we will have a unit here which is the degree and after that we will have our rotate y means we wanna rotate it a little bit so once again we need to create this dollar sign curly brackets so that we can use dynamic javascript here so rotate so the second value will be here so that's it so now we are getting our new value we are getting the difference how much we have scrolled and we are having a sq effect and also having a rotate effect with this difference means how much we already scrolled and we are applying this sq and rotate in our this content which is basically our section the whole section here after that however we will do it we need to update our current position means this one we need to update it with our new position so for that what i need to do actually i need to say that uh, current position is equal to new position means we are updating our current position means this one the old one with our new position and finally i need to call our request animation frames so request animation frames and inside that i need to run my or i need to call my function name which is the sq effect so if you are wondering what it will do is so it will create a loop for our this scroll effect means it will create an um, infinite loop so whenever we will scroll we will have our loop uh, this loop will be executed and we will have our sq effect and we will see this uh, if you want to know more and before that let's actually call our function this is the function so we need to call it for one time so that's it so now we should have our sq effect and we don't so there must be something wrong so let's check it out here so here in our console no errors and so let's console log here test not rest sorry so you can see that uh, these request animation frames it is creating this loop here so it is actually running over and over and over so we usually use this uh, request animation frame in the canvas so that we can have a smooth animation so it's running but why we don't have our square effect so i think i know the problem because i don't have any kind of unit for our rotate so as you can see that in our skew x we have the unit but in our rotate y we don't have the unit yet so let's have the unit here so degree so it should yeah now you can see that we are having this effect as you can see so you can see that it's too much actually the effect we need to slow it down so for that we will 
create a max skew and the max rotate so let's say that constant max skew equals to 20 and similarly max rotate will be 10 so what i will do actually i will actually check if we are actually having a crazy amount of skew or rotate so if we have something like that we will actually prevent that with a if statement so let's say that uh, if our skew is greater than the max skew and similarly for the negative one means high number will scroll up and high number will scroll down so there will be something like positive skew value and the negative xq value so for the negative one we need to also check it so if our sq is less than uh, max sq then what we will do uh, as you can see that uh, for this time we are checking with the negative one so we are checking in the both side in the positive and the negative and here if we are having a positive higher value so if the sq is greater than zero means if we are getting a higher value in the positive side we will say that sq is equals to max sq and similarly if we are having a negative so we can use else do it so sq is minus or uh, sorry you can say that uh, if it is less than zero means if it is in the negative way it is higher we need to say that sq is equals to minus max sq so that's it so we are actually having this uh, check and also we need to check our rotate in this similar way so what you can do you can just uh, duplicate that so now what you can do you can actually select the max sq and control d so it will select the similar thing in the next as you can see and now you can edit it uh, one uh, in one time so now you can say that max rotate instead of max sq now select the sq and similarly control d to select all the same instance and now you can edit it say that rotate and if i save now we should have nice now you can see that we are not having this crazy number or crazy sq effect so you can see that it is kind of working uh, the last thing that i need actually i need to apply a transition so here in our style.css so ultimately we are actually adding or changing this transition or the transform sq effect and rotate effect in our content which is eventually this section so we need to apply this transition actually in the section so select the section and say that transition will be something like uh, what we can do 0.5 second is and only for the transform so now you can see that we are having this with a smooth way can you see that so it's looking good and if you want you can just say here we'll change this transform so it will know that we wanna having some javascript that will change this section transform and that's it as you can see that we are having this nice effect sq effect whenever we will scrolling it's looking good with this uh, rotate effect so if you notice the rotate it's making the sq effect much better i think that's it for this video so that's it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family also if you want to watch more video like this one please subscribe the channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i will upload my next video so my name is Arfan and I will see you in the next video till then bye bye code office.